What's up YouTube? We're back this week. We're going to wire all the appliances of the boat, the bilge pumps, the nav lights, the anchor light. If you didn't catch the last video that we did, we wired this boat from scratch. Everything from the batteries to the ACR. So you might want to check that. I'll put the link up here. So yeah, so let's get started and let's do it right so we don't end up on this channel. First off, we have our fuse block over here. We have our two batteries in the back and we have a negative bus bar back there. We have a negative bus bar here, but I'm going to add one more additional uh, bus bar, which is right here. So I'm going to add this bus bar real close to the switch. So any appliance that's coming from or midship to the helm, I can kill the negative up here at the helm. I decided to place it over here. It's, it's a lot easier than placing it up there. I think it's going to be better. Less wires hanging around. So here I have my six gauge wire that I'm going to connect to the ground up here. I'm going to run that back underneath the helm. Nice and neat and connect it to that bus bar. So we have that set up. This is the power that goes up to the switches. Once all the wires are through, we'll tighten everything up nice and clean. So this is an Amazon um, toggle switch, but in order for it to work for our setup with the fuse block, we have to change uh, the settings back here because we have power going into the switch this prong is for the appliance and when i say appliance it, it could be a light it could be a pump just uh, an appliance that's what we're going to refer to it as so this is for your appliance and then it jumps over to this for the light so basically the way it comes set up is that everything is fused by one fuse coming from the fuse block and we don't want that we want in each individual switch to have the appliance fused to it so we have to adjust this. We're taking all of them off and I'm going to make my own jumper cables from here to here to here and that'll get its own fuse from the fuse block. Okay, I uh, finished customizing the light part of the switches so they both act as one. We made the jumpers in the volt meter all the way across and now across to the other switch and the same thing for the ground. We have these two wires and this will control the lights of the switches and uh, that means that these little lights will always be on these here and let's test them and they're working so if i ever want the lights to not be on all the time then i'll just pull the fuse from here that's it some people don't want the lights on all the time that's fine um i want the lights on for now just because i plan on fishing and, and camping at night so I can see where everything is. Now we're gonna attach our appliances or our, our lights or bilge pumps. It's gonna to go to the middle. Any Anything coming from the fuse block goes to the center of the switch. And these are all single throw switches, meaning they're just on and off. So you have the fuse going to here and then you have the appliance coming directly to here. Now for running all the fused wires, what I've done is I got the length of the longest wire and I measured that and I made a whole bunch because they're all going to the switch and the rest should be the same the same distance the same length more or less I could always uh, cut them shorter all right so we got these put in unfortunately they didn't have um, the right I guess wording so running lights slash navigation lights uh, or deck lights and four deck light because as long as I know what it is that's okay so now to help me run uh, these, these wires and know what they're for I'm gonna label them just like I have them here on the switches. We have our anchor light. We have anchor light. Our deck lights. Our four deck light. And then down here I have spreader lights, but I don't have that yet. I don't have it yet. So I put it off to the side over here. And our underwater lights, which I do have, they didn't have underwater lights on here. So I put them as flood lights. And so I gotta remember that flood lights slash underwater lights let's go ahead and install the switches get them in place and get the lights powered first before we install any fused or any any appliances let's do this first all right so let's go one by one first we're going to do the instrument lights which is the switch lights i'm going to run that one through first okay so we have our fused wire that's to give power to the lights at the switches. So here we have our ground 
and our power from the switch. So now we have to connect this wire, obviously the positive to the positive, and then the negative, we're gonna put it on this bus bar over here. And there we have it. So we have our positive and our negative connected. And the negative to the bus bar, and the positive goes to the fuse for the light, and we have power. We're gonna run the horn. This is for the horn. And now we gotta make sure we put it on the correct, which is the first one, the top one. And we're gonna go to the center because it is fused. This is the fused wire that goes to the center. So this is the horn, the original horn. And those wires back. We'll tighten that up. Like I said before, any e wires coming from the bow, the ground, will finish off here. Female connector. Now we have the horn, and the horn that I currently have doesn't work, so I have to buy a new one. But we're going to wire it up anyway. Like I said before, the horn is going to go at the top. There. That was easy. I'm probably going to change the color of this to red just so we know where it is. I want it to be the first accessible switch because in case of emergency I got to hit the horn I know where it is so it's going to be this switch up here. Beep! Beep! Nav lights installed. I put some 4200 silicone, sealed and ready to go. Keep a connector over here. So like any wires coming from the bow, the grounds will come and finish off here. You can come in midship towards the switch will end over there. I'm going to connect my heat shrink connector. Now the navigation light, or as I have it here, running lights, is going to go to the second switch. We have our second Right in the center, into the next. Right. We have light. Right. Let's go. Anchor light up next. There we go. What we're going to do is we're going to put this with a piece of starboard. Lights. We're on the right switch. Four deck lights or deck lights. And she's down. What was that pending? We're going to run duplex marine grade. 16 gauge wire these are led lights so they don't require a lot of a lot of power we're going to use our heat shrink connectors we're going to leave this here for now we'll heat shrink it at the end
just to test everything and then we'll connect everything again so we'll leave this just like this Yeah, so just stick that in until I get it on this side. Hold on. Yeah, you got it. Perfect. Boom. Mm -hmm. Like and subscribe. What do you think of the lights? Good. So pretty to see. Yep. So I gotta cover up all these holes. I'm gonna use silicone for right now. All right, so that's wired up. And this guy too. Now we're gonna run this up, and try to get it to the helm. We've got our ground and we got our power. The power we're gonna run to the, to the helm the switches and the ground we're gonna stop it right here at this bus bar so we ran all the wires and now we've run these wires which we're gonna tuck up under the gunnel just like we did up here with the uh, courtesy lights and we're gonna skip the spreader and come down here for the underwater lights now we're gonna plug in our underwater light which is the bottom there so here's our last one. I have it as fluid lights, but it's gonna be underwater lights. We said we're gonna skip that switch. Oh. All right, let's tighten up these wires. Forgot to put the fuse. As far as what fuse to use, whatever instrument you're using, if it's a nav light or a bilge pump, you have to look at the manufacturer's um, recommendation for a fuse. And now for the moment of truth, let's see. Now we're going to install the, uh, the bilge pump. So there is our base. We'll put the switch right in front of it. All right, so here we have the, uh, the bilge pump. So this is how I'm going to wire it. You don't have to wire like this, but this is how I'm going to do it. You have the switch. You have one wire from the switch that splices with the power wire from the bilge pump. And then the other wire goes straight to the battery with a fuse because this is a switch. So that way, when the water level goes up, it'll engage the, uh, the bilge pump. Okay, I got my bilge pump uh, wired up back here. And you can see here's the quick connect uh, cables. And then over here, I have my extra bilge pump. And I have these wired up and ready to go so in case this one fails, I could just plug these in real quick in a, in a pinch and get these ready to go. Now, if you're asking why not install two bilge pumps, but I really don't have an answer for that. I just don't want to. This extra one I'll keep stowed away in a compartment somewhere. Right now we're gonna run the wire up to the switch over here. Here's our negative for the bilge. We got our uh, wire from the bilge that's going to the switch. I think we're going to put it right at the top. because It's easily seen, accessible. It's the first one. We don't have to fumble in case of an emergency. And I don't know if I mentioned this before, but this is 14 gauge wire. So I ran 16 gauge for all the LEDs, the nav lights, the anchor light, the courtesy lights, all 16 gauge. But for the bilge pump, I'm running 14 gauge wire. So the bilge pump is up on the right switch on the top. That's where we're going to put our fuse block. We're going to use a 15 amp fuse because that's what this uh, bilge pump calls for. We got our fuse wire coming from the fuse block and that's going to go to the center of the, uh, of the switch. And it's working. You can hear it. 
So the bilge pump works. Let's test the switch now. And then there it goes. Good to go. Sweet. We have to connect the fused line to the switch. And that's what we did here. And we're gonna run that up. I'm also going to add a, a fuse. I don't have a six amp fuse. Even though the live well pump calls for a six amp fuse, I only have a 7.5. We're gonna use that for right now. Let's run these wires. We're gonna go into the second switch aerator or live wall. All right, our fuse wire now is gonna go up the middle position in the switch on switch number two, the aerator switch. Okay, we're gonna install the uh, live valve slash washdown pump. It's gonna work as a live valve and a washdown pump where we can connect over here. There's a, an outlet there and I'm gonna put a pump, but I'm not gonna do that now. We're just gonna use this for the live valves. So it's gonna break off into a V, go to the starboard um, live valve and the port side live valve. One trick you can do is to twist the wires around just to keep them neat. I like to keep a little bit of extra, so I'll roll this up. And this will be the last wiring that we do down here in the bilge. The plumbing we're going to do in another video, so let's tighten this up. This is 14 gauge wire, just like the bilge. Run it up to the second switch. We're going to run that to the position number three on the switch. Ready. There it goes. Cool. All right, turn it off. We organize all the wires. Nice and neat. We ran them down here. And we tighten up all the wires. Everything's in place, everything's snug, and we tucked in all the wires underneath the gunnel, and the electrical is complete. If you found this video helpful, please consider liking and subscribing. We have a few more projects to get done before we put this boat in the water, so stay tuned for the next one.